So in summary, we have this alpha first membrane, which is a single membrane. And what I'm drawing right there is the nucleus. And how do we know that's the nucleus? You can actually see the double layer of the nuclear membrane. You can see the condensed area, which is the nucleolus, the nuclear pore, and also chromatin. Chromatin is just linear DNA with histone proteins. You can also see the orange color structure over there, which is the microtubules and also the cylindrical structure, which are the centrioles, and together they form something known as the centrosome. And the next thing that we have is a single membrane network like structure with studs on its surface, and that is the rough ER. The studs or dots on the surface represent the ATS ribosomes. We also have another structure that looks like the rough ER, but it is devoid of the ribosomes, and that is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Next, a stack of curved membranes and also single membrane organelles surrounded by vesicles, and that is the Golgi apparatus right there. We also have a double membrane organelle where it has a smooth outer membrane and a folded inner membrane, that is the mitochondria. We also have cylindrical structures attached to microtubules on the cell surface membrane that will be the cilia. I'm just drawing a cilia. It doesn't mean that the cell, all cells will have cilia, by the way. Only certain cells have cilia, but this is, this is just like a reference for students to just imagine how it looks like. The protrusion of the cell surface membrane in order to increase its surface area, that is the microvilli. And of course, finally, how can we forget this? The vesicles, which are just being surrounded, just floating within the cells. They may be lysosomes or they might just be other vesicles transporting other types of substances. This is the complete animal cell with all its important organelles.